Again, using Descartes' rule of signs, what we're doing is we're seeing the sign changes to figure out if there's any potential positive real solutions. It's positive, 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 positive. Well, guess what? That means there's no sign changes, so there's no positive real solutions. Now, when we plug in negative x, right? We're taking f of negative x. Plug in negative x there, we get negative 2x cubed, right? X, negative x cubed is negative x cubed. Uh, negative x squared is just positive x squared, so that one stays as positive. That one becomes negative 200x, and then positive 300. So how many sign chains? We go from, from negative to positive, so that's 1. Positive to negative, that's 2. Negative to positive, that's 3. So we can have either 3 or, again, going down by 2, 1. So we can have 3 negative real solutions or 1 negative real solution. Now let's check the graph, and we'll see what we got. Well, it looks like we have three real zeros, negative 10, negative 6, and negative 2.5. Boom, done.